Right now on the Fox 35 News at 10, morning Maddie. Support continues to pour in for 13-year-old Maddie Soto after her body was found yesterday in Osceola County. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Manny Martinez. We have team coverage again tonight from the courtroom to a memorial. And it's Fox 35's Stephanie Buffmati that leads us off from where investigators found Maddie's body. Residents set up this memorial along the road near where Maddie was found. I spoke with people who brought flowers here who say they never met Maddie, but were heartbroken to hear of her loss. I don't even know the girl. I'm getting choked up, but uh, it, it's just sad that it happened. It, she didn't deserve that. Flowers, stuffed animals, and rosaries, all for Madeline Soto. Many in the community were shaken to hear of the 13-year-old's death, especially when her body was recovered in their neighborhood. I felt devastated. I felt like it was something so messed up and nobody should ever go through that. The Osceola County Sheriff's Office says a tip led law enforcement to her body off Hickory Tree Road Friday afternoon. Jason Garcia used to ride past there on the way to school. It was definitely heartbreaking because it's like, you know, it's close by home. And when I actually like saw where she was basically found, I was like, wow. Like I used to take the bus like every single morning and throughout this area. So it was something that, you know, just broke my heart. Madeline was found in a very rural part of Osceola County, only a few homes on this stretch of Hickory Tree Road. Deputies believe Maddie's mom's boyfriend, Stephen Stearns, moved her body and is the prime suspect in her death. And that's what so many find so hard to stomach. Nobody should be killed and thrown in the middle of nowhere. It's something that shouldn't happen to no child out there. And it's like, you know, why? Why? Like someone that could have a bright future. Stearns, who is now behind bars, was last seen driving a silver 2010 Lincoln MKZ Monday afternoon between 1 and 2.30 on Old Hickory Tree Road and Nolte Road, which is near where her body was found. This man's family member caught a car driving past their home Monday afternoon on a home security camera that matched when and where Stearns was driving. He gave it to Kissimmee PD. I believe the Kissimmee Police Department is going to make sure they have all the solid evidence that they can get to make sure that this man stays behind bars. If you have any tips that may help this investigation, call the Kissimmee Police Department. You can also call Crime Line and remain anonymous. Reporting in St. Cloud, Stephanie Bufmonti, Fox 35 News.